Hey guys, I haven't made a gaming video in ages. I want to get back into it. Um, my next purchase is going to be a Japanese N64. Uh, my friend is going to do the RGB mod for me and with an EverDrive to put every single game on the SD card. But for now, I'm playing my original Xbox which has 13 154 games on it um, and it's like 3 o'clock in the morning I can't sleep so what better way to pass the night than to play some games just gonna flick through some games review what it has on here so the screen it's on now it's N64 games um, 180 snowboarding I mean it's got the game preview before you play it so you can see what the game is about if you don't already know um, boy oh man, that's one, like, one of my most favourite games. Um, great in multiplayer. Conquer's Bad Fur Day. I've bought that again on the Xbox One in HD and everything, so I'll probably play that on there. Um, Diddy Kong Racing, another one of my N64 favourites. F Zero, another favourite. Uh, Golden Eye is probably everybody's favourite. Uh, I used to play this a lot with my friend. He always used to find a golden gun and kill me with it straight away. I think that was a one-hit kill, and he was always better than it uh, than I was. Um, my all-time favourite would be this one, Mario Kart 64, and it's got all the N64 Mario parties, which are the the best Mario parties are the earlier ones. They they killed it on the Wii U. They destroyed it. But at least we've got all these to to play. Um, Mario Tennis. Yes, it's got some good. I'll, I'll move on because it's got loads of game systems. This is the PC Engine. Oh, so many really good games on the PC Engine. Not a very well known console. I had two. I swapped some. I swapped one for my consoleized in. Neo Geo system which was handmade by a brilliant modder it's not as if you can buy one in the shop so it was a, a worthy swap and I still got um, another um, PC engine um, with tons of games but all the games are on here as you can see um, PlayStation I can't be, beat Castlevania I had this as an original um, the symphony, symphony of the night, but someone offered me like 130 pound, I think it was for for the game. So pff, I sold it straight away. I mean, I can play any time I want on here. Crash Bandicoot's probably um, what got girls into games was this game here, Crash Bandicoot, and it is brilliant. I think it came out on the PS4 as a download. Not sure. I have to look into that. Iron Hind, our brilliant shoot em up. I mean, I just scroll through these really quick. Um, loads of these games I haven't even played yet. I mean, who's got time to play that? To play thirteen thousand games, but I still want them all. Um, Mega Man has always been a favourite game of mine too. This is called Sega SG One Thousand. Haven't got a clue what. Never had this system, it looks like an 8 bit system. I'm not into the 8 bits too much, I prefer the 16 bit like Super Nintendo Mega Drive. This is Super Nintendo. This uh, 2020 Super Baseball is quite fun actually. Um, I mean, obviously, it's starting from the A's, so it's all in alphabetical order. I mean, you can change this menu from like car games, shoot 'em up, side scrollers. I've got it in console order at the moment and alphabetical order. Um, so yeah these are Super Nintendo games like I said. Quick scroll just to get through all the list but every single game is on there. A to Z. Uh, Donkey Kong Country is a brilliant game. Um, the Vic 20 don't know about this scroll through that because like, I think it's 8-bit 8-bit I'm not into that 
Virtual Boy. The Wonder Swan. Again, I've not had not had this console either. Um, X six eight zero zero zero. Not had this console either. Don't really know what it is. Um, games look pretty good, I guess. Ah, oh, Atomic Crobo Kid. I remember that on the, on the Mega Drive, I think it was. Brilliant game. Uh, some Xbox games. Oh, Black. I mean, I'm not really into like these was it uh, first person shooters, but I played Black on the PlayStation and it was so addictive. I played it for loads and loads. I didn't complete it, but I just remember playing it. I loved it as well. Halo is also a favourite game. Halo 2. House of the Dead. Um, I've got the gun. It's brilliant with the gun. Definitely got to be played with the gun. Because I've got the CRT TV. I can, you know, the gun works. Obviously, it doesn't work on the flat screen TVs that you've got now. Uh, moving along, arcade Capcom. So, arcade games. Um. Data East, Irem, I don't know what console that is, Jaleco, looks like arcade games again, well, he's got the arcade like symbol, so I guess it's arcade games, arcade Kaneko, that looks like a pretty fun game, B Rat Boys, <laughs> um, arcade Konami arcade games, Laser Disc arcade games. Dragon's Lair was one of the most popular games on Laser Disc. Uh, arcade Midway, Namco, Arcade Neo Geo. Now, I love Neo Geo games. They're one of my favourites. That's why I bought the consoleized uh, home console for it, which is basically an ar arcade uh, innards uh, put into a console so you can play it at home. And I've got that over there. But the games on here are just as good as owning that. I just wanted to own the real hardware to it. Probably got every single game on here and they all play really well. You can save games at any point as well. Um, and you've got Nintendo. Other. Can't even pronounce some of these. I don't even know what they are. These look like like uh, arcade games. That is, um, Sega, SNK, Tao, Technos, Temco, Toplan, Williams Arcade, Intellivision, Amiga. I have an original Amiga. Um, I bought the Amiga when they first came out, showing my age here, and I've still got the original Amiga from when they first came out. Um, but I've modded my Amiga with a GoTek, and so I have all the um, all the games on SD card because um, the floppy disks were driving me crazy. They were like all over the all over the house, and I just put them all in a the loft. Now I had hundreds of them. I used to go to friends' house and we used to burn each other discs. It was a lot of fun back then. Now I've got them all in one place, all in the Amiga, so these are some Amiga games. I prefer to play Amiga on the actual Amiga with the mouse and how it's supposed to be played, to be honest. But the, this is pretty good still, I mean, you can still get a lot of fun out of this. AMS, whatever that is. Oh, Zool. Zool was one of my favourite games on the Mega Drive. Just love this, this guy. <laughs> um, Amstrad. Atari 7800, Atari Lynx, the handheld, never had one of those. Atari ST, never had one of those. I could have, it was a choice between the Atari ST and the Amiga, and a friend at the time said the Amiga was far superior. That's what I was advised, so I bought the Amiga because they were both similar, and I didn't want, I couldn't actually afford both, so I bought the Amiga. Atari XL, C64, Classic, Cold Vision, Commodore 64, never had one of those either. DOS, Game Gear, I had one of those. 
the uh, the screen was uh, really fuzzy on on them handhelds. But I had some quality games, but I think you can mod the screens now to like LCD or something. So I wish I kept mine really. Um, I could always get another one and get it modded. Game Boy. This looks like the original Game Boy in black and white. Uh, Game Boy Color. ID software, whatever that is. Doom. And television. Master System. Mega CD. I have a Master System. I have a Mega CD. I have a Mega Drive. Streets of Rage remake is on there. Streets of Rage is like one of the best games ever. Mega Drive 32X. One add on I never ever bought. I think because the games were quite expensive, so I didn't bother with it. But um, they're all on here, look. And they play perfectly, so. Mm, I don't know if I'll ever get the hardware for it. I might do. Uh, MSX. Uh, Neo Geo Pocket. I actually connect, collect these Neo Geo Pockets because. They come in all different, um, the cases are all different, you know. So I've got about three or four of them just to have a collection of them. Like I collect Game Boys as well. I've got like every colour Game Boy. N64, right, so we come to the beginning now. So that's all the consoles that are on here. Like I said, over 13,000 games. Um, I wanted to pick a game and play it quickly. Hmm know what game to, to play. Just gonna scroll through and Ah, oh, ever played Aladdin? Such a fantastic game. Uh, Aliens was a brilliant game. So hard though, can never like save all the people in time. say virtual boy before I, don't, I think I skipped past this it's not showing the game previews but obviously you still got all the games I'm trying to get to uh, probably yeah Neo Neo Geo I think um, trying to remember like what games I like they've got so many 2D beat em ups and I, I never get you know, like Streets of Rage kind of games. I never get fed up with them like these. Look, I'll put, I'll play this one quickly. Whew, look at that. The video is already almost 13 minutes long. Um, so the game is loading. <clears throat> I actually bought the console modded as well. It's got uh, light, light ports. So there's a, I chose green LED, um, and I'll, I'll show you that after if I remember. So see the credits at the bottom. Every time you press select, you're giving yourself credits. It's like being at the arcade machine, you know. Like every time you put the money in, you give yourself credits. But obviously, this isn't an arcade machine, but it still simulates the arcade. So I'm giving myself loads of credits. I think 65 credits is quite enough and then it shows you like the buttons and that and who shall I be? Um, I think I'll be the blonde dude. This is very much like Streets of Rage-esque kind of game but just to show you like how the Xbox emulates Neo Geo or like almost perfectly. It runs smooth. The graphics are clear. I've got it on um, RGB, which is like the best input. Um, or output, I should say. I've actually got two of these Xboxes um, modified, and the other Xbox has got like different games on it. I don't really need to, but. I'm a bit crazy like that when I like something, I like getting a collection of it. I mean, if you like retro games, this is 
way to go. I'm looking to buy a Raspberry Pi, um, hopefully soon, if the price isn't too much. A hey, Brian, um, yeah, and that will have all the games in it as well. So oh. oh, basically. I'm going to carry on playing this, get all my frustrations out, just beating people up, knifing them, smacking them in the face, kicking them, shooting them, and when my fingers hurt I'll go to bed. <laughs> but um, yeah, I said I'll show you my console, and there it is, look at that, whoa! You can't see these two lights because obviously the controllers are plugged in. But uh, I could have chosen any any colour um, LED, but I went green because Xbox is very green themed. And there's my. It's quite dark because I'm here in the dark. But there's my consoleized Neo Geo with uh, the uh, game cartridge. 161 games in one cart there. So, um, yeah, hope you, you've enjoyed this video. I want to get back into my games. I've missed playing them, um, been concentrating on my action figures. Um, they, I mean, I still love my action figures, but, um, you know, I want to get back into playing games. So, thanks for watching. Please leave a comment. If you've liked what you've seen and a, and a like, and I love reading comments, so please let me know what you think. If you've got anything similar, if you've got a Raspberry Pi, what, what do you make of it? Um, like I said, my next cons, uh, my next purchase is probably going to be the um, Japanese N64 to get the to get it RGB modded because I've got a PAL N64 and it cannot be RGB modded, and as you know, the graphics are quite grainy. Um, so I want the best output graphics on there. So yeah, watch this space for more videos. And thank you for watching, guys. Goodbye.